Okay, what are you saying people and welcome back to the channel. So today, like always guys, going on the weekly Forex analysis for you. So on the screen, other pairs will be analyzing today, but make sure you stay to the end of the video because like always guys, I will be going through each pair, what's happened during this trading week and potentially what could be happening during next week's trading week. So make sure you stay to the end of the video for all of that. Before that said guys, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so first up, we've got Euro USD. So for this pair, as you can see, nice move to the downside this week. To be fair, most of the week we did kind of just move sideways until kind of Thursday, Friday. We did see that that break to the downside, mainly due to fundamentals. But we did have some signs that price was going to break to the downside uh, during the week. You can see we have this key psychological level here, 1.18. Also, that resistance now turns support, which was the main level we were looking uh, coming into this week, which I was speaking about on my weekly analysis from the from the previous week, saying if we can hold this, there will be some really nice buys back into that resistance. If not, and we break through, probably looking for sales back down into these lows here. So as you can see, we've broken through. You know, we do have that sell bias, and we are looking for price to revisit these lows here. And I actually, do think we can probably break through them and come and test this double bottom here which gave us this massive move to the upside and i would take that across you know it's just around the 1.6 uh 1.16 200 area just above 1.16 so looking for a push back down into this area again that might take a week or two but i think for next week sales back into this support uh do look good especially with the momentum we're seeing now in the daily so looking for some retracement um the best area the most optimal area i'll probably look for sales is probably this level here uh, the retest of 1.18, but again, I'm not too sure if we will revisit that area because of all this momentum here. We could just lead to the downside without much retracement. But if we do, you know, we'll be looking for sales from that. We do have that sell bias. Not really interested in buys this week at all. Just looking for sales back down into that support. Or if we don't uh, retrace all the way up there, like I said, the momentum is very strong. Looking for a retest of that support now term resistance. Uh, and then, yeah, looking for sales back into that support down there. So, you know, only looking for sales this week. Momentum is with the bears. Don't really want to go against that too much. I'm going to stick with that and looking for a push back down into that support. If we can break through that support, great, because I think we can revisit uh, that double bottom all the way um, back in. When was that? Back in. Uh, back in november november last year so quite a long time ago but i can i can see us revisiting that area so you know if we can break through this great i think we'll probably will uh probably will revisit at 1.16 200 mark uh maybe even further might spike below it but essentially looking for sales either at this level or that level there waiting for retracement uh waiting for those confirmations and sales back down into the lows for your usd for next week Okay, so next up we've got USD JPY. So for this pair, as you can see, um, still very, very choppy, do have to admit. It was favoring a move to the downside this week, which we did get. We did get that move to the downside, but it was short lived. Price spiked to the upside again, as you can see, Thursday, Friday. Nice aggressive move to the, to the upside there. We were looking for sells because price, you know, it is moving sideways. Uh, through this um, kind of range of that resistance and that support and I said if we do come back into the resistance look for sales or wait for the break of this support and look for sales on the retest as you can see we never really got the retest price came straight back through that level uh, and broke through really aggressively so essentially we just had a false break out of this range and a retest of that resistance so overall price is still very very choppy I think I might be changing my bias however from down to, to the upside expecting price to eventually break to the upside now again it's not the the clearest charts on the cleanest price action so it's not at the top of my watch list for next week but i can see um, price moving to the upside here if i go in the weekly time frame you can see we do have this area of resistance here uh, which gave us this massive move to the downside now acting as support as you can see price has failed to break through this area for a number of weeks now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven weeks we tried to break through this area we just got wick after wick after wick and obviously failed to close there with our bodies of, of that candle so i'm expecting to see some upside now simply because of this break and retest uh, and the continuation and obviously after the false break there uh, on the daily time frame grabbing liquidity and i think we could be getting ready for uh, a move to the upside so like i said it's not the best pair to trade very very choppy but you know we still are moving in this range so you know you can be looking at buys from the lows of this range which is this support here 
kind of 109, 600, uh, or wait for the breakout of this resistance uh, and wait for the retest. Had a couple of false breakouts previously, but you know if price can break through this resistance, start holding there uh, as support, maybe form a, a double bottom for that extra confirmation. Buyers will be looking good back to the upside, or if you do come back down, retest this area, can look for buys there. Simply play the range or maybe hold on for a breakout potentially. Uh, but essentially, just looking for buys on the breakout. No, not 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 the breakout the break and retest so wait for the breakout wait for price to confirm uh, that's retesting and then you can look for buys there or potentially look for buys if it does retrace back to this area so uh, only looking for buys for next week for use jpy the only way i'll change my bias is if we do break to the downside uh, again out of this range but i think you know with what's going on in the weekly time frame it does look like we're moving to the upside so wait for price to come back retest the area look for buys or the break and retest uh, and targets for this one if you do break out would be this resistance uh, back up here back at 110 600 so looking for buys uh, and expecting potentially another um, push to the upside for you to take wide all the way back up to 110 600 up there Okay, so next up we've got USD CAD. So for USD CAD, we had the bullish bias from last week coming into this week. And as you can see, eventually we did see uh, that momentum kick off. We were essentially looking at this trend line here, price respecting this trend line, uh, holding that as support. So as you can see, support all across there. Bit of that false breakout, we were looking for the retest. During the week, it looked like price was about to break through. But you know, essentially we held that um, trend line and now we're seeing continuation to the upside. So USD CAD still looking bullish here. Um, price is holding this area of resistance now as support and I'm expecting price to probably push back into this resistance and potentially also take out this wick over there. Uh, again, I'm not too sure price will do that within the, you know, within the next week. It might take two to take um, take out that wick there, but that's my target for USD CAD. Only looking for buys for this pair because it still is in the bullish trend. We're still respecting that trend line. Uh, it looks like the DXY it looks like it's heading up as well. So I'm expecting more strength of the dollar. So yeah, as long as that continues uh, and price stays above that trend line, I'm expecting price to eventually take out that wick there for USD CAD. So coming into the lower time frames, looking for buying opportunities. Price was kind of, you know, dancing with the with the trend line, not really holding it as support. As you can see, we kept dipping below. So I'm looking for price to either come back and retest this resistance here, as you can see, resistance across there, or retest the trend line. So whichever comes first, if we come back down, retest that resistance, great, uh, and price will push on uh, as support, or come back and retest the trend line just below it and push on. So looking for some retracement now for USD CAD because we are looking quite bullish here with that momentum. Don't really want to take our buys off that. So waiting for price to retrace for us. Again, first target is this area here, 1.28200. And like I said, all the way up there, taking out that wick around 1.29480 uh, up there. So looking for retracement, either coming into that resistance, uh, now 10 support, or coming back into that trend line, waiting for that retracement and looking for those buys. So that's what I'll be looking for for USD CAD. I only have that bullish bias. If you start to see some daily candle closes back below the trend line, then I might change my bias back to bearish. But uh, again, like I said, the DXY looks like it's heading up. So, you know, I am quite bullish on the dollar right now. So I'm expecting more strength uh, and more upside for USD CAD. So um, I will probably be sticking with that bullish bias for USD CAD for some time now until the DXY starts to change. So uh, looking for buys for next week. Hopefully you can pull back down to this 1.27 area, retest the trend line or retest that resistance. And then buys back into 1.28200, which is that resistance there. Then potentially, if we're lucky, can aim for that wick all up there at 1.29400 for next week. Sorry to interrupt the video, guys, but if you are enjoying the content and you find it useful, make sure you go hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure you drop a like as well. It really does help the channel out. But anyway, back to the video. Okay, so next up we've got Euro Pound. So for this pair, not too much happened this week. As you can see, price action is pretty much just moving sideways. Uh, you can see it wicks the upside, wicks the downside. So you know, essentially all we have is in indecision here. Price hasn't really moved anywhere. We had a bullish bias coming into, uh, into Euro Pound this week. Looking for moves to the upside. You can see price was forming nice support. We did have a nice move up, but it was short lived. Price came straight back down. Still is sort of just holding that support. Nice wick to the downside, but um, yeah, price action is just too choppy and you know, it's not giving too much confidence that price is now going to uh, move to the upside yet for Euro Pound. 
Uh, on the daily, I did well, I kind of still do have that long term and bias for Europan and so above this trend line. But again, that price action again is not giving me too. Um, too much confidence or you know very strong bullish signs there so a little bit neutral on euro pound here on the daily we do have this key level of support and resistance which i will use to uh, use to determine my bias if you can hold that resistance we'll be expecting euro pound to you know fall to the downside give us another swing back down into these lows around the 0.84 uh, 500 mark if you can get above so we see a nice daily close above wait for the retest We'll be looking for move back into the resistance up there and potentially those highs up there. So Euro pound, it just depends what price is doing for this level here. So far it's holding out a really nice resistance. You know, if we can maintain those wicks coming into next week as well, shorts will be looking good and the risk reward looks good as well. Stops above the area, back down into those lows. But on the same hand, if you do break through the area, see a nice daily close above the area, wait for the retest the following day. We'll be looking for buys back into 0.86 and like i said potentially even higher as well but it just determines what price is doing with that level so far resistance so if we do see those weeks coming into next week continue yeah sales will be looking good back down to these lows but if we don't and we find strength again so essentially the market finds a bottom here pushes through to the upside creates a higher high look for the retest and we'll look for buys back into uh, 0.86 all the way up there Okay, so on my screen now, I've got AUD USD. So for this pair, really nice move to the downside this week. We did see a lot of strength in the US dollar. So a lot of these uh, USD pairs did see some nice moves down with that strength uh, in the US dollar. And as you can see, AU is definitely one of them. So price is looking bearish now. We were looking for sales coming into this week. I did say wait for the break and retest uh, of this resistance here. I had a nice retest and the continuation. But again, I wasn't too sure about price. Um, about what it was going to do at this support, whether it's going to hold uh, or you know break through and continue. And as you can see, we are essentially breaking through and continuing. I said look for buys here if we can hold that area, but uh, essentially all we got was a little bit of retracement and prices went straight um, break through that level quite aggressively. So AU is definitely looking bearish and definitely expecting more downside. You know, like I said previously, DXY looks like it's going to see a lot more upside. So I expect a lot of these pairs still to be heading down uh, and potentially AU back down to these. Uh, to these lows down here 0.72 uh, 0.71 sorry all the way down there so again i'm not expecting au to get there within a week but um we'll be selling you know towards that direction we do have a really nice area of support here that could be a nice target but i probably expect us to break past that area uh, for AU next week. So looking for sales for AU, waiting for some retracement though, because again, we are looking quite bearish on the 4H uh, and looking to see if we can get a nice retest of this daily area here so we can come back up uh, and retest that area. So we already had a retest on the 4H, but it'll be nice to come back and retest it again. Look for some sales around there, maybe a nice double top could be looking good and sells back down into those lows. And if you want to, you can look to hold onto some sales all the way there. So, you know, AU just waiting for that retracement to come through and then sells back into 0.72200. So just above that psychological level there into that support. And if you want to, you can probably hold onto it for um, a swing all the way down to those lows around 0.71200. So more downside for AU for next week. First target 0.72200. Second target 0.71200. Okay, so up next we've got NZD CAD. So for this pair coming into this week, we had a nice bearish bias for this one. Again, nothing too big uh, because the market is trending to the upside here on the daily, but we do expect to see the market take a little bit of a breather this week. Again, we had a massive breakout of that consolidation. So we're looking for price to take a little bit of a breather and coming into this week as well, I think we can take a little bit more of a breather as well, a bit more of a move to the downside. Again, we're still holding this area of resistance um was prior support now we'll be acting as resistance so resistance there support there big move to the upside resistance there as well resistance it was a slight false break and expecting to see another false break there with that price action just poking its head above that level so looking for more downside for nsd cad got this key level around the 0 0.9 mark so again a nice psychological level i'm expecting to see the market take a bit of a breather again if i get a fib 
on that level there as you can see 50 percent is all the way down there so i'm not expecting price to hit that 50 percent level but you know you know we could still see a lot more retracement for this pair after this really big move to the upside potentially come back and retest this area of resistance now turn support which it still hasn't retested yet so looking for sales again not gonna be too aggressive uh, coming to this week still do have this resistance here again around the 0.9 mark we're coming back into it again so if you can hold this as a resistance great looking for sales First target will be this support here coming into this week. And if you can break through that area, we'll be looking to see if we can catch you know, more shorts back down to that daily resistance that we haven't retested yet. So looking for sales, if you do get ahead back above this level, probably means we're coming back to test this high, maybe even some higher highs as well. So you can look for some short term buys. I wouldn't hold on to those buys for too long. I know the market is trending up, but it still does need uh, need to take some retracement for me to you know, hold some longer term swing. So uh, if we can break above there, a uh, break and retest does look good. Back into highs, maybe some higher highs again, but again, um, don't hold those highs. Um, those highs Don't hold those trades for too long because there's a chance we might turn bearish again quite quickly. Uh, but if we don't, and we just hold that resistance, looking for sales uh, for NZD CAD coming into next week. Uh, and then first target will be around the 0 0.89 200 mark and the second target all the way down here 0 0.88 600. Okay, so next we've got pound NZD. So for pound NZD, as you can see, price is still retracing to the upside this week. We were expecting price to roll over. However, as you can see, it's still slowly just pushing to the upside. This is clearly the impulsive leg here, breaking out of that consolidation. This looks to be retracement, so I'm expecting price to again roll over to the downside, but it's just to determine you know when or where that's going to happen for pound and it could keep going forever until it does fall over or it could do it quite early next week. So looking at some levels in the market here, this is clearly the support that we broke through, uh, you know, moving sideways and we have not retested yet. So price could be moving up to go and test that level before we do to see some downside. Um, or again, we could fall over a little bit before that. So looking at the 4H time frame uh, 1.96 is a nice area um, to look to sell from so if we do keep this price action up we'll be looking for sales around here to take it to the downside and again targets will be these previous lows back down there again potentially could pass through that but gonna, not going to be too aggressive just because price is a little bit choppy here so looking for sales at this area 1.96 but it might happen before then. Like I said, we do have this trend line here. We had a bit of a false breakout um, during the week. So if you can get back below this area, um, that trend line hold that resistance, we'll be looking for sales on the retest to take it back down into those lows. So like I said, it just determines what happens first. Do we you know, continue this structure into the 1.96? Then again, looking for sales um, from this area stops above that area and looking for a push back down into 1.93400 or do we break through the trend line wait for the retest stops above uh, the trend line and again looking for a move back down to that support so just be a bit reactionary with pound nzd if we keep this price action up find a bit more strength back into 1.96 sales will be looking good there back down to those lows if we don't I and mean, price just you know slowly rolls over breaks through the trend line wait for that retest wait for those confirmations and then shorts back down into 1.93400 so overall bias is downside for pound and the d wait for the break and retest of the trend line or wait for the retest of 1.96 to set it back down into those lows there Okay, so now we're going to take a look at CAD JPY. So for this pair, as you can see, still looking bearish. We had that bearish buys coming into this week, looking for sales. Uh, again, we were looking at two main areas, the break and retest of this support here, uh, which kind of hasn't really happened. We look like we were going to get that retest there, but we did break above. Or the retest of this resistance here, which we kind of just missed out um, over there. We kind of just missed out there as well, but we did come into that area. Nice reaction. I think that was the news that really came in there for the fundamentals. But you know we were having that bearish bias, and we are still looking for sales coming into next week. So again, still looking for the break and retest of this area here, since we haven't really had it yet. Um, but essentially, you know, expecting pound, uh, not pound, sorry, Kaji White to head back down to these lows here, and uh, potentially. Uh, well eventually take up this wick here because the market is still bearish i'm still expecting to see more downside and eventually some new lows you know past the 84 500 mark so again that move there might take a week or two so not really looking to sell into that level you can do if you want if you really want to hold the trades 
and capture those pips, but I'm expecting a move back down into 85,600. So I'm not expecting the market to revisit that area. It can do, but I'm not expecting it to. Um, expecting to see you know some retracement now after this big push. Hopefully, can come back and retest this 86,500 area. Nice support will be term resistance, and again looking for sales back down into that area of support down there. Um, back into those lows here and like I said you can look to you know push the trade a little bit more back down into that wick there the risk wall will be looking good but essentially expecting more downside back into 85 600 if we do break through this next week then on the retest maybe a double top something like that you can look for sales as well if we don't catch that move there um, but yeah I'm expecting more downside for Kaj JPY eventually to take out those wicks down there uh, but the more realistic target is probably, probably this 85600 uh, level there. So more downside for CAD JPY. I'm expecting to see some new lows. But for next week, target will be 85600 after a retest of that level there. Okay, so next up we've got pound USD. So for this pair, we had a bearish bias in uh, for this week, looking for a move to the downside. We were holding this area resistance here, and I did say as long as we hold that, I'm expecting price to collapse back down into this support. As you can see, that's exactly what happened there um, coming Thursday, Friday. So we're looking bearish here for pound USD. Looks like price is putting in another lower high here potentially. As you can see, we've got a lower high there, lower high there. I think this could be our third lower high. Looking for another push back down into this support, 1.36, and maybe some lower lows as well, around the 1.35 mark potentially. So expecting more downside for pound USD. I'm not expecting price to push down to 1.35 by the end of next week. That might take, might take two or three, depending on price. Um, really see some nice bearish momentum continue. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting a push down into 1.36. So only looking for sales coming into next week. Not interested in buys uh, at all, really. Like I said, I'm expecting more strength in the dollar and the dollar uh, in the DXY as well. So you know, there's no real um, point for me to look for um, buys for pound USD. You know, that's expecting weakness in the dollar. So I'm looking for sales, and we do have this level here, nice support there, taken across. We'll be still acting as support, but since we're breaking below it, we'll be acting as resistance. So looking for some retracement back into this level here. Hold it, wait for the confirmations, sells back down to 1.36. Can look at taking some partials at this support here. So around the 1.36800 mark. And really nice move to the upside. We'll be acting as support again. So partials there. But you know, essentially looking to take profit back at those lows. There's a chance that we might retrace, you know, come back and retest some of these levels up here. Uh, we could do that. I don't think it will though with that momentum. But you know, if it does, um, we'll be looking for sells there again. Like I said, still do have that bearish bias. Um, but yeah, essentially just looking for sells, waiting for price to retrace for us because it is looking quite bearish right now. Uh, don't want to take sales off that impulse. Want to wait for price to retrace for us, find some resistance. Uh, and then get involved. So looking for sales for pound USD back down to 1.36, waiting for a break and retest of this 1.37400 level, or if we do retrace back to 1.37, uh, 1.38 really, 1.38400, we'll look for sales as well, uh, but we'll be targeting 1.36 for next week. Okay, so next up we've got pound CAD. So overall we are still looking quite bullish here. I did say look for sales for pound CAD this week. Again, short term sales, because I still think pound CAD is on its way up. But we're coming into a really key level here, 1.75500. As you can see, really key resistance here. We're rejecting that really nicely. So I uh, was expecting to see some type of reaction there for pound CAD. As you can see, we did get one this week. So I was looking for some short term sales. Um, but I do think you know pound CAD is going to turn bullish again and probably break through that area and see some new highs. So we did see some nice sells there, but now we're looking for buys for pound CAD. So uh, we do have this really nice area of resistance here, which is now holding as support. So as you can see there, resistance all across here, a bit of a false break, resistance there as well, now holding as support. So looking for price to retrace for us one more time uh, to look for some entry so price can come back. Uh, retest this area, see if we can get a nice double bottom in. Uh, retest that, hold that support, can look for buys back into this resistance. Because again, it is still a very key area. We still haven't broken through it. So don't want to hold trades past that level because you know you could see price find resistance again and come right back down to your entry. So uh, looking for buys from here back into that resistance. Or if you can break above this, see a nice daily close above that. Wait for some retest. Hold it as support and then we can look for some buys uh, to continue that further to the upside. So looking for buys here, if we can form that double bottom, revisit that area, 
or if you can break through that wait for the retest and we look for some buyers to take that higher and um, for targets for that second trade probably looking at this resistance here um, around the 1.76500 mark again nice psychological level for that one there as well so looking for buys for pound cad not really too interested in sells anymore you know we did have a really nice reaction from that resistance but because of the momentum on the daily how price is shaping how structure is shaping you know i think the bigger move is to the upside so looking for price to come back down one more time look for that double bottom back up into that resistance and if you can break through that we'll take some buys again on the break and retest back up to 1.76 uh 500 up there Okay, so next up we've got pound JPY. So for this pair, we had a nice sell bias for this pair um, this week, looking for push to the downside. Price just about giving us that towards the end of the week, looking at price respecting this 152 level, really nice psychological level, resistance there, false break, resistance there as well, support there as well, and now acting as resistance there again. A bit of a false break this week, big wick to the upside, taking out that previous high from last week and then dumping to the downside, so definitely grabbing some liquidity above those highs. A bit of a false break of that trend line there as well, price was holding that for quite some time. A bit of a false break, but now it's respecting um, that trend line as resistance again. So looking for sales coming into next week, again targets is this support here essentially four pound jpy back down to those lows there 149 500 so i'm only looking for sales here for pound jpy uh, again i said last week this was our target which we haven't got there yet so still looking for price to hit this 150 600 mark but you know essentially targeting 149 down there so as long as we can stay below this resistance and stay below this trend line looking for sales hopefully we can come back up retest it again one more time look for sales back down into that support or you can wait for the break and retest and take it down to those lows there so you know only looking for sales for pound jpy looking for a push all the way back down into 149 400 like i said we still haven't retested that support so if you do retrace um first and then you can look to target that area there or you can look to push the trade all the way back down to those lows depending on you know, what how many pips you want to catch or something like that um, but yeah, I think a big swing for pound JPY back down to these lows could be on the cards, maybe even be done by the end of next week if that momentum can really come through. So you've already grabbed some liquidity with that false break. So now, you know, if you can stay below that trend line, you could really see a nice big move to the downside for this pair. So only looking for sales for pound JPY. Hopefully you can come back, have another retest of that trend line, but essentially looking for sales back down into 149, 400, which is that support down there. Okay, so next up we've got gold. So gold, big move to the downside here, as you can see with all that momentum there on Thursday, I believe. Again, fundamentals did have a big part to play, but we were looking for sales coming into this week, looking to play off this resistance here. Slight false break of that area and also um, a break and retest of this trend line. So price did stay below that trend line false break of that resistance but essentially we held that and a big drop to the downside there for gold so gold did um, what we expected this week and i'm still expecting more downside for gold expecting gold to push back down into these lows here um, it does look like we're holding below this support here which is 1760 as you can see nice support there looks like we're holding below that so i'm expecting more sales coming into next week but we might retrace come back and retest this area up there just because again we have broken through that with a lot of momentum and i haven't retested it so i'm looking for sales firstly here to see if we can get that nice double top in looking for sales back down into 1725 that might happen quite early in the week so make sure you're watching price action around there again wait for your confirmations and sells back down into 1725 which is that daily support or if you do break through that level it's probably to come back and retest this level up here around the 1785 mark and like i said sells back down into 1725 looking for sales not really interested in buys for gold and dxy looks like it's going up and as dxy does go up uh, gold is um, inversely um, correlated to it so it does come down so i'm expecting more sales for gold and a test of that support down there so waiting for a retest of one of these two areas but sales back down into 1725 for next week And last but not least, we've got Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, we've seen some upside this week after that big collapse we had uh, the other week there. We were looking for some buys here for Bitcoin. We were coming into a really key support around 45K mark. If I just take this across, you can see really strong support here, giving us some large moves to the upside. So we're looking for some, um, some buys from that level back into this level here of support. 
and this level of resistance here as well. So we've seen some nice upside there for Bitcoin for this week, but next week potentially could be bearish if we do reject this resistance here. Um, and I do expect to see price come right back down into that same support that we bounced from this week. If we do take this out, then yes, I think price will probably just push back into these highs and just continue on for Bitcoin. But this is a key level here, very critical level around the 49 stroke 50k mark. If we do reject this, we'll be looking for sales there for Bitcoin back down into the 45 uh, mark, which is the support that we're trading off this week. Um, but like I said, if you can break through there, there's some buys. So Again, monitor price action because we're not actually there yet. So again, we don't know how price is going to react with that level. We are still looking quite bullish down the 4H time frame. So expecting to see some type of rejection there. And if we do get that, kind of for sales all the way back down to those lows there. But if we don't and we just storm through the level, something like that, just straight break through the level. Wait for that retest to confirm it because it could, you know, could be a false breakout. But if that does happen, then we're most likely going to be heading up to these highs around the 53k mark and probably even further uh, as big as Bitcoin continues. So look what happens around this level here, which is around the 49,000 uh, mark, uh, 50,000 mark. See if you can hold that as resistance. If we do sells back down into 45K, if not, price is probably coming back to those highs all the way up there. Okay, so that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that and found that useful. Like always, if you have any questions or you agree or disagree with my analysis, please let me know down in the comments. I will get back to you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I release videos like this every single week and also stream during the week as well. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on any uploads. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, guys. It really does help me out. But anyway, it's the end of the video. I hope you all have a good day, great week, and I'll see you guys in the next one.